Hey there guys, welcome to the next video here on the Duct Tape Stub channel. This is the 15th collections volume to be featured on the channel and is also my 300th video, so it's kind of cool. This will make 300 videos on the channel, that's a huge accomplishment. I thought I'd tie the 15th collections volume with my 300th video, so combine those both together to form a really awesome video. So, pretty awesome, 300 videos with this one, that's a lot of videos on the channel. So with this collection, this volume, I decided to do something a little bit different. Like most of the time in the volumes, I show you a whole bunch of new things. Well, this one's going to be a little bit different. We're actually going to be recapping all the things that I've showed you over the past. Not spending as much time as I did in the previous videos on them, but kind of just glancing over them, showing you like how much I've progressed through the collections volume series, and kind of showing you all the things I've made in uh, over the past, you know, Three, or three years or so. So we're going to be uh, showing a whole bunch of old things, but I'm also going to be including a few new things as well. So those are going to be towards the end. So before we get started here, let's start off with a little bit of a history of the collections volumes. So let's wind the clocks back to 2009. I got a whole bunch of people who asked me to show off stuff that I had made on the channel. And I thought of a couple purposes of that the collections volumes could be. And the first one was to show you guys what could be done like with duct tape, especially in the decoration sense, like how complex it could be. And n number two was to inspire you guys on how to you know, make that stuff yourself. So you could just copy what I did and hopefully progress that way. On November 22nd, 2009, the first collections volume was posted and it, the ball pretty much started rolling from there and that's what we lead to uh, today, which is collections volume 15. Probably the coolest thing about the Collections Volumes is the legacy that they've created because you can go into YouTube, type in Collections Volume Duct Tape and you'll come up with a whole bunch of videos. And the coolest thing is that all those videos were spawned by that one video, Collections Volume 1, which I filmed back in November of 2009. And you know, people made a whole bunch of videos just like mine, maybe titled them the exact the same way and then people saw those and it just spawned from there, it just you know rippled out. And that's the coolest part about the, uh, the Collections Volume series is how many videos they've spawned because people watch them and then they make their own and they even title them the same way, which is kind of cool. So that's the legacy that the collections volumes have started. It started with one video and it spread all across YouTube, which is kind of cool. Let's briefly talk about the cards because the cards have definitely earned a famous spot in my collections volumes and I'm sure a lot of you guys recognize it if you've watched the volumes on the channel. So I first started off with my Burger King Star Wars card here. I use this to show off a lot of the credit card holders in my wallets and I'm sure a lot of you recognize that one. Pretty recently I started using this Disney card here. This is actually a Disney Blue Pass. It's given to all cast members and it pretty much has a certain number of credits on it and that allows you to get a certain number of people into the parks for free You know when you work for Disney. But it's just like a normal gift card. Once it runs out of credits, it's pretty much useless as, as, a, uh, as a pass. So I just kept it, and of course it has zero passes on it, but uh, it's a pretty cool card. I use it as my uh, credit card you know, uh, demonstrator for the um, collections volumes now. So that's the, uh, the story of the cards I've used on the channel. All right, so enough of me talking. Let's show all the wallets that I've had over the course of the collections volumes in one fell swoop. So here we go. Alright, so here's what it looks like. Pretty crazy, huh? I had to lay them all down on my floor on a, a blanket here, and you can see all the wallets that I've made. So we're going to zoom in a here a little bit and show you some of the ones that I've made up here close and personal here. Here's actually some of the wallets on this part, this two columns here that I actually use personally. You got the first one I ever made and my black one, which lasted for about eight years. And I switch them back and forth occasionally. You can tell I don't put a lot of designs on my wallets. Here's the one Hunger Games. Um, Flip wallet, which I had to test out, and that's when um, when I made that I tested it out, and I, we're we're kind of going in a way I started the collections volumes and working our way down. They're not quite in that order, but they're pretty close. You got like, the Skittles wallets, whole bunch of different um, superheroes: Batman, Superman, District Nine up there, a couple Rorschach wallets, Doctor Manhattan. Uh, there's my uh, tuxedo wallet and the wedding dress wallet, which someone requested. We'll come right over here. I did a few Triforce ones, Blinky and, and uh, Pac-Man. And uh, here's an old skateboarding wallet that I made with the waterproof wallet video. You can see there, Jack Skellington. A bunch of the, um, uh, let's see, Mario mushrooms, Incredibles, Lady Gaga. This one actually is a, a leopard on the inside. Call of Duty, Domo, Lady Gaga. Now this one's with the, um, the, uh, the, the web stuff on it. Here's actually the web wallet that I made. You guys remember this in one of my other videos. It's like a wallet except it looks like a giant web. That's yeah, kind of cool. Let's see what else here. I got a few of my woven wallets, Red Bull, Duck Brands right there. This is the one that uh, opens like a mouth. 
kind of like the uh, a frog. Got more Lady Gaga, a bunch of the um, uh, Mario's, Volcom, Green Day. Let's move along here. Got Hello Kitty, Bullet Bill, Goomba, the Kitu, the Poison Mushroom. Here's a few, uh, like the uh, Lion King flip wallet over here. Some trifolds, we got one here. A few of the uh, credit card, I'm not sorry, the credit card, the uh, checkbook holders here. A few of the fishbone wallets. And here's, here's the, uh, the Rubik's Cube. I have to actually get down so you can see. It's the only one that actually stands up. You got the, the Halo ones down here, the four Halo ones I made. Of course, the Sonic series, which is one of my most popular series here. You got um, seven of those total. Sonic, Amy, and a whole crowd here. And some of the more recent ones, you got the Powerpuff Girls. It's hard to see with the glare, so I'm going to kind of tilt them up so you can see them. All 100% duct tape, and this is one that actually made it last year's duct tape festival, is Highlighter Yellow. So that's all the wallets that I've made over the past uh, three years or so. It's uh, quite a lot of wallets, as you can see. So let's uh, move on to a few of the uh, more recent stuff that I've made for the video. All right, so I have a couple of paintings to show you, as well as one giant painting which I have for the festival here. This is one I actually made today. It's a Batman Beyond silhouette, which is kind of cool, all white, and you got the other uh, black for the silhouette. I don't know if too many of you guys remember the Batman Beyond show, but it was a great show and uh, probably not as good as Batman the Animated Series, but I, I do remember watching it way back on, in, the, uh, in the day, but long before My Little Pony and all that stuff. We had Batman Beyond and the Power Rangers and the Powerpuff Girls, stuff like that. So that's Batman Beyond there. A the second silhouette here I made is uh, the Hulk. There's another image I found online, all white background. You got the giant monstrous Hulk silhouette and it's supposed to be the uh, person is Bruce Banner on the inside. So it's kind of a good contrast. It's definitely a very artistic picture and I tried to convert that picture onto the uh, silhouette here. So those are the two silhouettes I had to show you and now let's show you one of the, uh, the giant uh, art pieces that I brought to the festival with me. I can talk about that. All right, so this is the biggest piece of art that I've done yet, and I brought it to the Duct Tape Festival with me. And if you guys have watched a uh, few of those videos, you'll be able to see it in there. It's obviously a Madagascar-themed painting here. It's on a kind of a float canvas, which means it comes out a little bit here. And, of course, it's got all the characters on it. Glory was actually the easiest because she doesn't have as much detail, but each one took about an hour, except for Glory, about 15 minutes. So you're talking about an hour for each of these, and then probably another hour just applying all the strips in the background and the grass on the bottom. So it was a lot of fun. Cutting out Alex's mane was almost impossible because you see he's just lined with all these little cuts. It took me a long time to come up with the, the right way to do that without making it look really cartoonish. So that was one of the hardest ones to do. I think he was the hardest out of all four but um, yeah, Marty was kind of hard too so that's the one I made for the uh, the festival it's definitely the biggest one that I've made so far but I do definitely plan on making a lot uh, bigger art in the future so you guys will see that coming to the channel eventually so that's the uh, Madagascar, Madagascar painting that I took to the festival with me all right, so hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. This was this video was a ton of fun to make, and it was a lot of fun to set up all these wallets. Now, unfortunately, I have to clean them all up and store them again, but it was definitely cool, you know, dusting them off and showing you all of them for this video. So those were really cool. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it, and if you hadn't seen some of those before, hopefully you know you got some inspiration for those as well. So this is a 300th video, like I said, a great accomplishment. So uh, thank you to all you guys who watched my videos and con contributed to the channel by watching the videos because you helped me get to this milestone. So thank you very much, and hopefully you guys enjoyed Collections Volume 15. Catch you next time on the channel.